What's up, everybody? Noah Kaser back here for the TV show collection. This is not all of it, as you can tell. We got some here. We got some on the floor here. We got a lot of TV shows. I was inspired to do this by my buddy Jacob, J2H. If you haven't seen his TV show collection, go to J2H's YouTube channel and check out his TV show collection. This will be the collection for the first part of 2020 because I believe I won't get any more TV shows. Uh, until maybe March or April of 2020. So I'm making this for the first part of 2020, and I will be right back and try and fix this lighting here. Sorry, guys, I've done what I could. Now, how we're going to do this is we are going to do the random TV shows. And these are just the series that I have not completely finished yet. Well, completely finished collecting for yet. There's some that I just have some random seasons. There's some that I'm missing the last season or the last couple seasons or something like that. So let's get into that first. We're going to start off with this stack here. First up, we have Danny Phantom Season 2 Part 1. I want the complete series, but I'm not willing to pay 20 bucks for it. I like this show fine, but it's just not a show that I am willing to pay $20 for if you know what I mean. This was at the Dollar Tree as part of one of their Dollar Tree DVD Blu-ray sales, so I thought, hey, for a buck, shit, why not? This one is pretty much for my dad. He's a big fan of Guy Fieri, and he loves Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, so we have the complete first season of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. This is a however long set it's, it's three discs. Maybe it tells me a runtime here. It has no runtime, but it, ooh, it does have 12 episodes. 12 episodes from the complete first season. These are pretty much out of print. They are reasonably expensive. Then we have Party of Five, Seasons 1 and 2. Nev Campbell, Lacey Chabert, Scott Wolf, and Matthew Fox. Why not? Seasons 1 and 2 of Party of Five. Then we have Seasons 1 through 5 of Seventh Heaven. 1 through 4 is in this set here. This 1 through 4 box set that Paramount is now putting their uh, releases in. You open this up here. It's a nice big case. Discs are on flipper trays. Jessica Beale, Beverly Mitchell, and uh, what's his name? Stephen Collins. Stephen Collins. Seventh Heaven, one through five. I paid five dollars for that seasons one through four set at uh, a half price books that was doing a clearance sale. Then I I went back a few weeks later, and there was season five. So now I'm missing seasons 6 through 11. My family likes this show. Uh, we don't really have a problem with the show at all. We think that it's a nice little sit for exactly what it is. Then we're going to go on to these. This was sent to me by Mill Creek. This is the Crime Time Hot Streets TV and Cool Cops. This has season 1 of Miami Vice. And season one of David Hasselhoff's Knight Rider. Two good shows, but this also comes with 20 bonus episodes of classic crime shows. You can look at them there if you want. Check out the episodes. 20 episodes on two discs. This is a nine and a half hour set. Put that down there. I'm missing the final two seasons of this show. Now, this is something that I am trying to find the last few seasons of. Season one of Third Rock from the Sun through season four. I like this show. It's not a show that I can watch continuously, but I like the show enough that I am going to get the whole series and watch it many, many more times. Uh, should we go... 
over here now. Uh, we'll we'll do those here in a minute. I have the heavy sets of Everybody Loves Raymond seasons one through eight. I'm missing season nine. I love this show. It's a very funny show. It took me no time to get through seasons one through four. Then I decided to take a break because with me for a TV show, if I'm going to binge a whole series that has over like 100 episodes or 200 episodes, close to 200 episodes, I'm going to give it a break every now and again which I will talk about more here in a minute. Uh, well, here later in the video. Then we have this. We have Two and a Half Men seasons one through seven. I love this show. I like it mostly when Charlie was in it. Walden isn't that bad now that I look back. I think that we were just all kind of disappointed that Charlie left. And Walden is not a bad character. He he is kind of like Charlie in a way, but he's not Charlie in a way. It it, it had a different feel to the show. They redid the house, and it, it just didn't feel like Two and a Half Men for the past, mm, for about the last couple seasons, but it was still a decent watch. Still trying to find seasons 8 through 12. Then we're going to finish off with the random DVD seasons with these. We have seasons 1 through 7 of All in the Family. I am missing seasons 8 and 9. Very good show. I like this show a lot. I, I remember coming home from school and my mom would be watching this on TV Land when it, it, it wasn't the, it says the same 7 shows. Or in this case, the same 5 shows now that they air. They actually used to air very classic television from like the 70s and... 80s, 60s, 50s. Now it's pretty much their newer stuff, and everybody loves Raymond upwards once you get into the evening time frame. But I do like All in the Family. It's a decent little show. Then I have season one of Alf, the cat loving creature himself. Laverne and Shirley season one. I like this show a lot. It's a funny show, it's not as good as Happy Days. But it's a nice little sit-through. The Nanny, the complete first season. This is the 22, yes, 22 episode season one that Mill Creek put in this magnificent two-disc set here made for easy binging. Then these are my two newest seasons that I have added. This is Eight is Enough, the complete first season. I was going to get rid of this, but then I checked out how expensive it was how out of print this is and this is going for a reasonable amount of money but this one is going for two hundred dollars new and uh no this is going for about two hundred and twenty nine dollars new and about two hundred dollars used from what what i saw and this is the complete second season of too close for comfort this is a wildly out of print show that I have never even heard of. I had heard of It Is Enough. I had. But Too Close for Comfort, I have never even heard of. Ted Knight. It can't be that bad of a show. It, it lasted for a reasonably long time. Now, shall we go into the, uh, the random seasons that I have of, uh, of Blue... Nope, I, I still have two more DVDs to go through. I have volumes one through eight of Family Guy. I really like Family Guy a lot. I, I find it really funny. I have not been watching it as of recently because I've been watching a lot of other shows too. Then I have a random volume 12. So I'm missing volumes nine through 11. And I think after... Volume 12, they went into seasons, I think. Then I have Modern Family Seasons 1 through 8. One of my favorite shows ever. It's a very bingeable show. I sat through the first eight seasons within, I, I want to say, within the span of two weeks, two and a half weeks. And that's the quickest that I've ever binged a TV show. 
Normally, with a show that long, it takes me a couple months, but it took me two weeks to blow through this. And I've seen every episode up to now. This is the final season. It saddens me quite a lot that another one of my favorite shows is going off the air, but at least it's not being brutally canceled, which is a big relief, especially to me, because my favorite shows normally get canceled. And I'm hoping that that, that is not the case with a few of my newer favorite shows. Now let's go into the random seasons on Blu-ray. We have Modern Family Season 1 on Blu-ray. Modern Family Season 2 on Blu-ray. Game of Thrones Seasons 1 through 3. I do like Game of Thrones. I think it's a decent little show. I have not seen every episode ever. I'm still trying to get the rest of the seasons. They're just so damn expensive. You, you, you gotta catch them on just the right thing on ju just the right day, it seems like. Seasons 1 and 2, I got for a dollar a piece at a pawn shop, and I paid 20 bucks for season 3. So, I, th I think that that's my extent of getting a big, uh, a big season show. Now let's go into the all of the complete series, and this is an insane amount of TV shows. I know some of these are mine. Most of these are mine. Some of these are my parents, but they are still in my collection. So, I do have season three. I just don't know where it is at the moment. I looked. I don't know where it is at the moment. It's all of Dawson's Creek. I like Dawson's Creek. I think it's a fun little show. It's a cheesy romance show, but it's a fun little show. I do got to give it that much. Okay, we're going to go with these next. Ugh. Fix this. I bought this for $1.99 at Goodwill, and it's the complete series of the 90s Beauty and the Beast series. $1.99, why not? For all three seasons and however many freaking episodes, I don't know. All I know is it is three seasons. 16 discs and 44 hours, 14 minutes. That's all I know about the show. I tried the first episode and I liked it quite a bit. Just not enough to binge all of it. Then we have Beautiful People, the complete series. I bought this for a dollar or something like that. Uh, I think it might be a spinoff of the Gilmore Girls or something. Or trying to be like the Gilmore Girls. I don't know. This one is my mom's. This is one of her favorite shows of all time. So we have the complete series of Little House on the Prairie. Little House on the Prairie is a western drama type show for families to, to sit down and watch with some religious values in there. I like it fine. It's not one of my favorite shows. I mean, I'll watch it, but still. Then we're going to go into these... <sighs> This one is mine. This is Sex and the City. I bought this complete series for $20 when it was originally $120 or $100 at, uh, at Half Price Books. But they got this on clearance and it was $20. I'm like, well, I'll try the show. I binged through seasons one through, uh, through the first two seasons like that. Like that. I enjoyed it. Took a little break from it. Then this... Mammoth of a box set here that's pretty freaking heavy. Yeah, the box isn't all that great, but, but I got this about a year ago. This is the Dick Van Dyke Show, the complete series. All five seasons. Fun little show. I like this show a lot. All five seasons, 157 episodes. Does it have a runtime on it? It probably does not, but each season... Each disc of each season comes in its own little case here. So you got a shitload of cases. Ugh, the complete series of the Dick Van Dyke show. I'm going to put the mammoth down before I drop it. All right. Uh, this one is pretty much... I'm, I'm going to call this my family's collection, but it's The Middle. The Middle is a show that we were... Or that me and my mom were really mad that was ending. Uh, this was a very easy show to sit down and watch with the whole family. It's funny. It it has 
fam family values in it. You learn something watching it sometimes. But most of the time, it was just, you relate with 75% of what's going on in the show. I, I, I don't know how how e easily it, you can uh, relate to being in, in a car wash and something like that happening. But all nine seasons of that, we were really upset when that show ended. We're going to go with these next... Sanford and Son, the complete series. Bought that for a dollar. Gilligan's Island, the complete series, all three seasons by themselves. One of my favorite shows right there. This is another one of my favorite shows. This is Roseanne, the Mill Creek sleeve set. This is a pretty cool show. This is all nine seasons of coach this was sent to me by mill creek i'm very happy they sent this to me this show will be very fun to get into sometime two shows that are also great family ties a show that takes place in columbus ohio just a couple hours away from me seasons one through four come in their own case here and five through seven come in a case like this fun show i like it quite a bit this one was more for my mom and dad they like this show i like it too it is emergency the complete series if you don't know what this show is uh just just think it's it's about uh par 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 paramedics um, firefighters and everything like that. Okay, we only got a, a few more stacks. Next up, we got Pretty Little Liars, the complete series and their individual seasons. I like that show a lot. I grew up with the show, and it was pretty much just at my age where I'm like, well, I'm, I'm going to see what all the hubbub is about, and... There it was. So, all the seasons. Boy Meets World, the complete series. One of my favorite shows of all time. I grew up w with this show, watching it on the Disney Channel. And they never showed all the episodes because once they went further into the seasons, it, it got a bit more mature. Uh, we're going to save those for last. For the DVDs. Next up, we have the Astronauts Wives Club. Complete series from Mill Creek. The Kids in the Hall complete series from Mill Creek. Soap. I bought this off of Cinema Sickness for $10. News Radio, the complete series. Sorry. Airwolf, the complete series, sent to me by Mill Creek. Three's Company. This was a Christmas gift. I like this show a lot. I'm I'm actually in the. Uh, I'm actually going through this series again. The Monsters, the complete series. We have Californication, the complete series. The Brady Bunch, all five seasons. My mom really likes this show, and she got me into this show. It's a fun little family show. Now, is it cheesy? Oh, hell yeah. But it's a fun time. Gonna go with these next. Okay. The Jeff Foxworthy Show. I like it. Uh, the first season is obviously the best. The second season was hard to get through, but I sat through it. Saved by the Bell. I'm not excited for the new uh, rendition that'll be on NBC's streaming service called Peacock, which I think is still stupid. Because it does not have Zach, Kelly, Screech, or Lisa. It'll only be Slater and Jesse. Which I believe is not truly Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell... It was more of Kelly and Zach's story with Screech as as the comedic idiot. The Andy... There went 
cut a couple discs. The Andy Griffith Show, the complete series. Okay, I I will be right back because this is the family's show, but it's pretty much my mom's show. Um, it's pretty much what what she uses at Netflix for now is for this show. She loves the Andy Griffith Show. She's seen every single episode seventeen hundred times, and I wish I was uh, kidding, but no. She, she's actually seen every single episode 1,700 times, I, I believe, and that's not an, an understatement. We're going into these now. The original, Land of the Lost. Cheesy show, but it's a lot of fun. The Big C. This is a nice little set here. On a six-disc complete series set from Mill Creek, we got What's Happening in the Complete Series. <laughs> from Mill Creek also, with Margot Robbie in it. A lot of people don't know that she's in this show. Margot Robbie from The Wolf of Wall Street, Suicide Squad, and tons of other things. Pan Am, the complete series. This was sent to me by Mill Creek also. Mill Creek was releasing this in... They were releasing this in Walmarts. Because uh, Time, Time Life and Star Vista weren't going to, to put it in stores anymore. So M Mill Creek d decided to put it back in stores. And uh, I, I decided to ask for a review copy. And they sent me a complete series copy of The Wonder Years. That's one thing that I, I love about this movie community. you got to watch everybody's videos, especially people who review things, because if, if you find out that something is releasing from Mill Creek, bam, you better get your ass into gear and you better request it, because that's an amazing set. It's a great show, especially for a lover of Hallmark Channel. Danica McKellar is in that show as a very young girl. And boy, has her acting changed and gotten better. The Adventures of Robin Hood, the complete series. This is a 1950s adventure show. It's not a very great show. It, it, it's okay. But if you grew up with it, great. I did not. This is Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap, he basically... Uh, Tem temporarily goes into another person's body and lives their life uh, lives their, their life through through the whole episode and th that's what every episode is about pretty much all five seasons and 97 episodes this one almost nobody requested but I said okay fine it's a complete series I'll try it this is drop dead diva uh from what I can remember, I think this is all all about Deb. Uh, she 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 was a model who died, uh, and by by a twist of fate, she she becomes uh, Jane, a a heavier set woman. When she she was a slim little thing. We only got a few more to go. All right, just a few more. We have Dr. Quinn, the complete series. Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. This is my mom's collection. But we keep it here in, in the family room, so hey. She likes this show a lot. Then this one is pretty much for them when they get older. This is the, the Waltons. This is a mammoth set. This is all nine seasons plus the movies in it. All coming in their own season cases. None of that sleeves crap. One thing I do got to say about uh, seasons 8 and 9 is it's kind of stupid that, that they couldn't put artwork on them. They are double-sided discs, and that, that's why we don't pull this set out very much, because it is double-sided discs. But still, they are very happy with this show. They like it a lot, and that's all that matters, is that they are happy with the show's now on to the Blu-rays, and then we will be done. We have Freaks and Geeks, the complete series. I 
I traded one off to to Casher one or Steve, uh, and I kept the the other one because if you don't know if if you get the Shout Factory uh, set here, you you get two Blu-ray complete series releases, one with the original as aspect ratio and one with the new widescreen, and I took the widescreen one. And here's also the Andy Griffith Show, the complete first season on Blu-ray. That one is also for my mother. She loved Andy Griffith, so I thought, hey, shit, why not? All these are new from Mill Creek. Ultra Q. Ultra Man. Ultra 7. Ultraman Geed and Ultraman Orb, the series and the movies. We also got another one coming very, very soon, as as well as some that were just sent uh, or that that were just announced. So you will be getting a lot more Ultraman. And finally, we have these. Six more shows to go, and then that's it. Happy Endings, the complete series on Blu-ray from Mill Creek. Community, the complete series on Blu-ray from Mill Creek. Masters of Sex, the complete series on Blu-ray from Mill Creek. Rescue Me, the complete series, Blu-ray from Mill Creek. The last Mill Creek one we have here is probably... What is turning into my all-time favorite show. The more and more I watch it, I love it. This is the complete series of That 70s Show on Blu-ray. I like this one a lot. You have no clue. It's an amazing show. It's very funny. The last season we don't need to talk about. Then, the complete series of Friends. Everybody is bitching and moaning. Friends is, Friends is going off Netflix. Friends is leaving Netflix at the end of the month. Well, by the freaking seasons, haven't you seen it enough already? Why would you have Netflix for Friends? It's on TBS. It's on Nick at Night. Or better yet, spend the money and you can watch it a lot more. You can watch it not as easily. Oh boy, you'll have to get up out of your freaking seat and pop in a disc. <gasps> oh wow. Well, when it leaves Netflix, I got the whole show. I don't use Netflix for friends. I use Netflix for Netflix originals and that that 70s show. But that 70s show, I have it anyways. So I'm I'm not worried if these two shows leave Netflix. I will be getting the office very, very soon. So there is everything in the TV show department. There's the 2020 well for the first part of 2020, there's the whole TV show collection. I've added a few more since the last video. You never know what Mill Creek is going to send you. I could be getting a couple more complete series. I'm really hoping for the Mindy Project to come uh, when that releases. And I'm also really hoping for uh, the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt complete series Blu-ray. Or, or DVDs. I said yes to both because, well, I I just like TV shows. So there's everything. I don't really know anybody who is this insane personally about the TV shows besides maybe Cinema Sickness. Uh, but this is a big... Well, oh, I, I, I forgot about these DVDs. These are the ones that I forgot to do. I Dream of Genie, the complete series on DVD, the Sony release. Then we got Bewitched, the complete series. The King of Queens, the complete series. And either my second or third favorite TV show of all time. I'm hoping that Mill Creek will put this out on Blu-ray. Because I will say no to everything else com coming out. And I will definitely want this set on Blu-ray. Married with Children. I love Married with Children. Peg, Al, Bud, Kelly. You, you gotta love all the Bundys. Buck. Pro, probably my third, second or third favorite show of all time. 
now that is everything. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time for more reviews very, very soon.